Hey folks, welcome back to Shadow Empire. All right, we're still in this time of efficiency and we've completed um, the B. Okay, the B is a mobile artillery that we that I basically made ages ago. We've got an emergency tax card, uh, we've got a defense card and we've got a commercial project. That's an amazing card, by the way. Commercial project might be something we want to play here in Neris. We've not actually had a chance to look at this, this uh, place. So let's see what assets we've got. Bureaucratic assets, uh, Office 1. Oh yeah, we're starting to get food again, look. Bureaucratic uh, Office 1, an air base. We've got Industry 2, Ice Mine, Agridome. Then we've got a, a dome farm, which is going to be running now. Uh, we've got a transport hub, light industry. Okay, this is good. Yeah, look, we, we've actually got quite a lot of industrial points now. Uh, next turn, we're going to get even more because we are going to start seeing our uh, first asset going up. Uh, sorry, the industry three asset go up so we're going to be getting an extra 250 per turn on top of what we've already got so um logistical points wise i'm yeah, still not going to have a whole lot of logistics points i think we're going to be we're, we're basically sending out food to everybody on the front line that's one of the reasons why we you know you're going to see a bottleneck here there's a bit of a bottleneck there look uh, i probably have we let me just check how much fuel we've got now yeah we're we're sending we sent 54 out we've got 40 in stock Produced 81. Uh, recycling 2 is going up. Yeah, we're not we're not got enough workers. That's another thing. But everybody's going to be a little bit happier now. That is one thing. Uh, that is one thing. Okay, we need some... We need to uh, artisanally make some aye, of these aye, machines. Sir. We've got plenty of... Uh, we've got plenty of industrial points now. We've got a reasonable amount of metal. Now, I think, yeah, with industry going up, we're going to be getting loads more metal. Let's just see what... Oh, yeah, I actually mothballed that. Did I mothball it? It's saying it's active. No, I put it down to 25%. Let's increase that back up. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be fine. All right. Feeling much better about things, got to tell you. It's always good, right? When you're playing a long game like this and you have a victory to kind of give yourself a pat on the pat on the back, it's always good to do that. Because I think, you know, when you're sat here playing video games, <laughs> it's hard work, right? Really, really hard work. And I think you deserve you deserve the credit that you should give yourself. For all that uh, hard effort, especially when you've you've done something dumb at the start of the game and it's cost you basically Probably about 50 or, you know, about 50 turns worth of trouble. <laughs> Set design target for the model design council. Let's see what we got. Um, uh, we've got combat armor now. I don't think we've actually made it yet, though, have we? Yeah, we've not recruit. We've not researched that yet. Let's just have a look to see what our wonderful military research council is working on. It's working on guided RPG. I'm tempted to, to stop that halfway through. Now, does the bureaucratic office go up yet as well? I think it did. Yeah, it. We're, no, we're on bureaucratic office two. Yeah, one more turn. Yeah, um, we're we we are building so much stuff. By the way, this is one of the reasons why they're not, there's not enough people to work in the rest of our assets because all our workers are temporarily moving on to projects. We're gonna we have a load of workers free this turn because look, we were going to be using what was it, two thousand eight hundred workers every turn. Uh, just to put the industry three up and now it's going to drop down just to 600 just to run that place so there you go um we are we are building a few too many things off here i would probably want to nationalize this transport hub as well let's get that on the go and so we, we've actually got more trucks this one here we might be okay yeah did i put it on 100 percent? i think i'll be okay yeah it's only going to use 20 fuel how much fuel have these guys got? Yeah, they haven't got any either. So fuel is a bit drastic. Um, now, we have got more food. The reason being is because we've got another dome farm here. Uh, this one here, look. And it is an Agridome 3. It's not working very... It's not working at all at the moment. When that is working, I wonder if we should start putting up a fuel... Oh, yeah, that might be a good idea, you know. Now I think about it. Where are we? Industry, that's it. Biofuel refinery. It's gonna take three rounds to go up, but it costs almost nothing, and it's gonna give a. It's gonna transfer three hundred fuel per turn into two hundred. Um, into it's two hundred fuel. Yes, this sir. is gonna be how we're gonna do it. Let's get this up in our 
in Minos itself, or Minos, if you're Greek. Um, where did that go? Sorry, there we go. Biofuel. We want this coming out fast, I think. And after I just said, what? Well, yeah, <laughs> that we're, it's going to be straining our workers. Um, I think we. How much? What? What are we spending every turn? On yeah, 140. Wow. Okay. I thought we were spending way more than that. So I know we, what we're going to do is let's jump into the salaries and let's pay our work. Oh no, it's going to be we're going to pay them in the zone, aren't we? Here, give yourself a raise. Yeah, give yourself a raise, mate. He's going to be happy. Um, Copy that. Okay, secretary needs a raise. Let's have a look at our models. It's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, we're going to hide the obsolete ones. Uh, the li like These line troops, I think these are still really good with the gas-powered carbine. They're going to be good for holding the line, okay? Uh, we didn't use the line troops for very much yet. These guys, though, the Zero Gun 3, I don't really want to upgrade those yet because I, want the c I really want the combat armor first. Yeah, we're kind of back to this old thing. Um, yeah, we need to change the... Right, before I forget, because I'm scatterbrained... I'm going to go to the organisations, so we're going to the Military Research Council, um, and we're going to we're going to change the uh, research over to Combat Roger Armour. It's much more important. Once the bureau, once our bureaucratic offices up more as well, we'll actually start to be able to make more of that. Uh, what I mean is, we're going to put more bu uh, bureaucratic points. Actually, we've got seventy going into Discovery. Let's just switch that over now. Roger uh, we're going to send that other way round, basically. 80%. Okay, so we're going to try to get the combat armor pretty quick. Uh, we, we might have a breather now. Now we get the option. Well, once we've got some fuel and we've sorted out our logistic issues, uh, I think we're, now we're going to do some exploring. We will also, like we are, we've got more enemies on the border. Brabant, for example, who we are at war with, by the way. We are at war already. So, what's a rotator device? Oh, they've got de degraded... LE mini reactor. Oh, that's back back down there. But the rotator device. It's a derelict device. It gives us research bonus points. Okay, we definitely want that. Um, I don't want to do much attacking this turn. Not just not while these guys um, have got low supply. Let's get their ammo and stuff to them first. We'll just keep them out here in the, you know, along these lines. They're quite happy where they are. I feel. Let's get those down there. Yeah, don't move. We don't want to be spending any oil. Let's see if we can trade for any. There, yeah, we can buy some. It's the 38 credits though. Yikes. No, we don't want to. Let's just trade. Let's go to. So the SHQ or the zone. 38 credits though for five fuel. Kind of brutal, but I think we're going to need it just so we can get some more troops out. Um, now, now we can actually sell some stuff. 25 credit. Look, 25 um, credits for rares. We could make a real killing selling a bunch of rares. The problem is, they're rare for a reason. So I really don't want to do that. I want to sell as few as possible. Mind you, that price is kind of hard to, it's hard to, to say no to. Let's sell 100 rares, which is... A real sacrifice, aye, aye. I think, but we're going to get a whole lot of money for it. Now, if we start, we could make fuel, and we could probably make a bit of a killing, at least for a few turns. Uh, once we've got, once we've actually fueled our, you know, our troops up. Uh, once we've got our mines back on the go, we can start building some tanks. We're going to get some motorized infantry, and then we're going to go for a ruffle stomp. And I think you guys deserve to see some fun stuff. Uh, we're going to go back to this. I'm wondering whether I should just make. Because uh, we've got a Gauss version of the machine gun to go up. The problem is I really want the combat armor first. I could build up on the uh, Blitzer, or the no, the Lion Hunter it's going to be. Because those guys are seeing some action now. How much field testing have they had? 40. Okay. They weren't a great model in the first place, to be honest, look. Pretty crap. Um, but it's going to be... Yeah, I wonder if it'd just be cheaper just to, just to build a new one. No, brand new design is 800, so yikes. 
let's just uh, let's, build, let's do this. We'll build upon the uh, the lion hunters here. Uh, we'll keep them as, exactly as they were. Affirmative. Just so we got something to do. Riots in Neris. Oh, that's quite a lot of credits. Difficulty 221 for the uh, oratory roll. I'd like to do this. The problem is we're going to fail it. This would make everyone happy though, but it won't make the rioters happy. They will fail. Um, we could send the troops in. Probably the best bet. Yes, sir. Yeah, we uh, we killed 200 rioters. That's fine. Okay, give them some. Uh, put, let's give them some credits. We give them like hmm, maybe 20 a turn. Sounds good. That'll make them happy too. Uh, the workers' salary. Let's make sure they're getting a decent wage. Um, recruit and colony sign up bonus, and then we're going to start. I don't think we're going to take too many recruits from these guys. If I start pulling up some colonists, we haven't got any of those yet. And we are probably going to want to start building some other zones. And maybe I'll take some. I'll take some recruits. Uh, we'll leave this unincorporated for now. We're going to allow emergency food. I'm not. I'm never using this again. <laughs> um, I think that's going to be basically yeah. it. Neris Mine Extension. Okay, extending a mine by peripheral exploitation will increase our reserves, but very probably reduce. Okay, so it's um, so we got some. Uh, it's saying water mine. Oh no, we don't want to resume. Uh, not the water mine. I'm sure, I played. Did I play? Oh, I must have played it in the wrong one. Well, I guess we do. Okay, critical success. So we got. Uh, 299,000 water. Okay, well, our water, we are, our water worries are over, basically. Uh, that's this one here, look. I think. Yeah, I guess it was. See that compared to this one. Yeah, this one's 62,000. Yeah, but this, this water will last us till the end of the game now, I think. Um, ah, that's kind of disappointing. Like, I, I, I would have rather have had the metal, to be honest. We've got another card. But I need to play it in Minos. I think I made the mistake there playing it in the wrong place. But that's okay. Um, we're not getting many political points. I think the reason is, is because all our officers are down. Yeah, these guys are not going to be making any political points, look. Yeah, pro only produced nine. Nine bureaucratic points, 16 political points. So... I do want to increase the size. I'll wait. I'll, let's wait until the mine's about done. And then we'll hopefully let's try and play it here. I think we're more. We've only got. Oh look, we have actually got two, got two ice mines as well. So we might. It might end up being played on an ice mine, which would suck. Um, I'm not sure. We could game that, but probably by zoning these out. But I think that's cheating, to be honest. I feel like that's kind of cheating the game. All right, uh, where are we? I'm not going to attack. I'm just going to wait. I think this turn. Let's go for a bureaucratic push. Okay, so we're going to get a bunch of bureaucratic points. Uh, we haven't got much in the way of political points left, so that's going to be about it, I think, for this turn. Yeah, I think... I don't think they're going to attack us. I don't think they've got much to attack us with. Uh, they're, they're basically... They're gonna, they'll have whatever zone they've got now, which is probably this one. Oh, that's Bronze Bond. Uh, have Elisaria got another zone? I thought they did. We can't see anything up here. Um, I don't know where they are. Let's have a look at Rostock, by the way, while we're there. Okay, there's Rostock. Hmm. Very well developed. We got an air base. High Command Four. Yeah, high level stuff. These guys are they're they're well developed. Look, they've got air bases and everything. Now that's Dunkel's start. They're a militarist major. Militarists are scary. But they're nowhere near us yet. We're not at war. Okay. We've got a bit of time to kind of get our so uh, pull our socks up. Dust off the old uh, bureaucratic hat. And just make sure that we are, you know, we're, we're sorting things out. We're going to have more logistics next turn by the looks of it. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm happy with that. Let's, oops, I don't want to trade. I want to just build a few more machines. Aye, aye, we're going to be saving up a whole bunch of industrial, uh, of industrial points. Oh, there is a max storage on IP now. I didn't know that. Maybe there always was. Um, yeah. Let's just carry on building what we're building and see what happens. I'll catch you in the next turn, guys.
Okay, no casualties. Still in the time of efficiency and we've gained submission. Also, we've uh, researched heavy industry and we've di discovered VidCom, broadcast VidCom Broadcasting. Oh, we've got another peripheral mining card there as well. Um, that peripheral mining card is kind of strong. I'm not sure if I like it being in the game. I've got to be honest with you. It feels like a bit exploitative. That you can just get such a massive... I think it needs to be toned down a little bit. It's too much. Like, you know, double it. Like, if you've got... Like, what my mate did was he waited until it was almost gone and then he used it and then he just got, like, insane amount of metal. And I think that that's probably a bit broken. Maybe, maybe that, you know, I don't know why it's there. I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be fixing. I, I feel that that's probably not working as intended. I, I don't know. Anyway, are these guys still not getting their food? Are they getting replacements? They're getting food. Okay, no, they're still, they're still not getting food. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, their, their morale's going down. Let's just have a look at our statistics here. Yeah, average hunger's gone right up. Average morale's plummet. plummeted because of this damn problem with the uh, with the food. Um, it's purely just because we are not making any... We're not getting any oil. Ah, oh, look at this. Bureaucratic office is still not going up. We're trying to build too much stuff at once. But we need the recycling up first. I'm hoping that'll go up next turn once this bureaucratic office is finished. Uh, yeah, it's my fault for building too many things at once, I think. Uh, but we should be gradually increasing our stocks, yeah. Sending, sending stuff out. We don't want to be moving any troops. Nothing that is going to need oil to move. Okay. Look at these guys trying to trying to go around me. Let's pull these guys back like this. Okay, they're not going to be able to go all that way around. Them. The rest of us are just going to basically stick here. I, I really want to be able to get some fuel, not only just to fix our problems, because I'd like to get some motorbikes now and start exploring. Uh, we can go back to basically what we were doing in the early game, which is just sort of doing some exploration. Let's have a look at the decisions. New organization, no. Copy that. Uh, Economic Council research objective. Let's go with sealed roads. It's way beyond time that we got that. Tenant to extradition. Um... No, we can increase commerce here, or we can go for meritocracy. Yeah, these guys like the meritocracy, and it's going to make them happy, yes, so let's just go with that one. And meritocracy is harder to get as well. One of the more difficult uh, profiles to keep up, or it's a raising keep up. I wonder if we'd be best off just putting this one on... Mo uh, yeah, it's still mothballed, look. Okay. Let's just keep that, let's just keep that truck station mothballed there. Oops. Yeah, we should be sending, uh, stopping everything but pull going out those two directions. Yeah, we're still getting, look, we're still getting excess points going out that way when they're not going out that way. This is what I mean about pull's a bit weird. Like, that should not happen. That should not happen. There should be no excess points going that way. Uh, pull shouldn't have taken that that way. I, I don't, I, I've kind of, I've tried to figure out what the order of operations is for it, but I can't work it out. And uh, I don't think anyone know, else seems to know either. Vic will know, but he's not he's not giving anything away. Um, he doesn't. I, I, I think he's a bit close about his algorithms, maybe. Or maybe he just likes to keep the game a little bit mysterious, you know? And I'm all for that. I can respect that kind of attitude. Either that or Vic doesn't know himself. I hope he's not watching. <laughs> I know your tricks, Vic. You just don't know. <laughs> no, man, this is my favourite game, and... You know, so I, I've got ultimate respect, really. Even if it seems like I'm being uh, being a bit mocking, I, I, I don't mean to. Okay, let's get a few more of these machines up. I think we're going to leave this now, this turn. We just need to get everybody back online. Look at all this. Lots of damage. We did loads of damage assaulting into this this town. We, are, we just wrecked everything, look. It's going to take a while for that to be built back up. Um, yeah, they've got... They've got um, 
They've got a really low civilization score as well, which isn't good. These are getting high. By the way, I, I really messed myself up. Remember when I was saying it's going to bite me in the ass by upgrading to the minor city before I was ready? I was right. Uh, this That really hurt my... Uh, that hurt everything here. However, look, short-term casualties have now gone down. So they're a little bit happy that the wars sort of wind, wound down a little bit, at least with regards to the amount of body bags that are being sent back home to weeping families. Okay, let's end the turn there. Okay, we're on round number 71. Let's see what horrors Shadow Empire has for us this turn. We're entering a time of efficiency. Uh, we've developed the Lion Hunters 2, and we've also discovered an ultralight aircraft. That is good, because that will... I mean, when we can afford to actually run them, they'll be really useful. Increase the morale of your soldiers. Um, oh, okay. Willie Raddenwalk has dropped 40 points. Okay, he's not very happy because he's basically sat in reserve. Let's just have a look. He might leave us if we're lucky. <laughs> Willie Radham Walker, what is he? Actually, he's quite good. Yeah, we uh, we really want to get him into the Secret Service Council as soon as possible. Um, I'm going to just set on no changes. Staff Council priority. Yeah, I, I like I like a reasonable balance on this one. I'm not so bothered about customized formation, but I'm going to increase it a little bit. Okay, let's have a look at this tank model that we just made. Lion Hunters 2. Uh, okay, so base design is much better. Uh, engine design slightly better. Weapon design is the same. Armor is the same. Okay, not a big improvement, to be honest. It's basically the same thing. Bit of a waste of bureaucratic points. Uh, the, having the base level design improves not bad, though. And we did get a better engine. So, yeah. Make of that what you will. Um, I want combat armor. Before I actually... Re uh, before I start spunking bureaucratic points... Yeah, it's going to be a few turns. I think what we do here is... Let's just go for the ultra aircraft. All right, now this is where we really want to start using the blueprints. Now, we can, we'll actually be able to have have some fun doing this. Here we go. Okay. We're just going to have a recon plane. Ultralight aircraft. This is not viable. Okay. Okay, we could get two hexes if we had a tiny fuel tank. What you want to do here is you want to increase the size of your fuel tank. 800 litres would take us 8 hexes. Not bad, but not very far. Um, and it costs 1 oil per hex. Not a lot. Increase the size of the engine. Probably allow... That would go, that's going to allow us to go faster. And so this would probably... Oh no. See, this is where it got confusing. Before, you just had to guess. It was awful. Um, it was It was so irritating. And now you don't have to guess. It's wonderful. Okay, so that is not... Look, basically, this thing's going to be dead slow. But it's going to be really super light. And it's going to use basically no oil. Um, if we put a bigger engine on it... Bearing in mind that this is all, this is all going to increase the, size of, the amount of oil. Oh, look. Less oil. Just by putting a bigger engine on. I did not know that. So it's going to be more efficient... The only the, the difference is now you are it's, you are increasing the the cost of the making the actual you know the model itself. Also wants to be kind of quick because that's nine hexes. Ten we can get ten hexes out of it if we put twelve hundred liters on. That's not bad. Ten hexes not bad. Let me show you what ten he ten hexes is. Let me turn the hexes on. Oh, I've been playing Kingdom Dungeon Hero, so I've forgotten. There we go. Right, so... Um, yeah, so if we... Let's say we had... An, let's say we were at war with someone here, right? Had an airbase here. Ten hexes is like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a long way, right? So ten hexes is quite respectable. We do have an airbase here. Uh, I think that's going to be okay. Now, the heavy engine would probably allow us to go further. Well, yeah, maybe not. We probably want to go with bigger wings then. Go with the medium propeller. It's still a bit of a guessing game, by the way. There we go. Look, that would inc that would decrease our ground speed because we've got the wings are heavier, uh, but it will allow us to put more fuel on it. Okay. What about small wings? Okay, there. That's that's too much. But having bigger wings, you see, enables you to 
um, carry more. Get more lift as well. It's all to do with the atmosphere. That's the confusing thing. Like you can sometimes get the same performance out of stuff by really, really reducing the weight of the aircraft. Yeah, we can get slightly more. We can just get one extra hex out of it, basically. Now, imagine doing this, but having to go through the old system where you had to do it page by page by page and guessing. It was, it was onerous. It was onerous. Let's just use that. Ultra light design one. Yep, looks good to me. Select. Okay, so it's saying it's a viable, uh, viable design, and we're going to go for that one. It looks reasonable to me too. Okay, um, what have we got to do this turn? Looks like our troops are starting to get their food. That's good. Um, how many, how much fuel have we got? We've still not got a lot of fuel. But we are getting a lot more industry, industrial points now, like loads. And we've still got more power than we need. That's interesting. I think that means we should probably just reduce... Where are we? Scav furnace. Let's drop this down. How much are we wasting every turn now? 100. So let's just let's just mothball one of those. That's going to reduce the amount of workers. We'll mothball that. Um, so we're still going to be wasting 50. Where's the other one? Here. Yeah, let's mothball that one too. Uh, I should have done that ages ago. We're just wasting scav points using you know using those things. But that's good news. Uh, the barracks, is, our bureaucratic office has gone up, so we're going to actually start seeing a little bit more bureaucracy, uh, bureaucratic points coming out. That's going to be helpful. Then in a couple of turns, we're going to have biofuel, and then we're going to have fuel. And then we are cooking with gas, as we say. Cooking with gas. Can we get any replacements out? I don't think we can, can we? I don't think we've got any... We haven't really got much in the way of logistics. The hell are you? Who the devil are you, sir? Okay. That was another Simmerson's thing from uh, Sharp, wasn't it? And who the devil are you, sir? <laughs> oh man, I love Sharp so much. Okay, can I actually move some troops forwards here? I won't, I won't bother moving those guys. Let's move the. Let's move some of these forwards. Uh, are we still on? No, we're on defense here. Yeah, it's the other two that are on all out attack. Got to be careful in case these guys come down. These seem very, very defensive. They don't. They're not. They don't seem bothered at all about attacking us, which is great because it means that they're going to give us time to be able to go and attack them ourselves later on. <laughs> Look at these. These are these battered remnants from this war. Absolutely battered. Um, I don't really want to use much fuel, do I? Probably not. Not for another couple of turns. Let's just leave those bikes there. Um, I, I feel I feel a little bit happier now. I think we're we're kind of in a position where we're not going to be losing. <laughs> we're not losing. I'd love a motorized light infantry brigade or something. Yeah, I, I'm. Uh, I don't need any brigades. I think I'm going to wait to actually recruit any more troops. We're actually paying our troops quite a lot as it is. Um, let's just see what our how much we're spending per turn. Three hundred. Okay. Uh, if you ever see big spikes, by the way, in the amount that you're paying people, it's because you're building too much. So if you're ever really, really running out of money, stop building. Although often it's building that you need to be doing in order to get out of the problem. So that could be a little bit of a, a you know, non-intuitive thing. Uh, hunger's going down. Morale is still going down. Yeah, morale's... We've, we've messed up. I'm really, really messed up there with, with the uh, fuel situation. Um, and we were just, we were just like, our people were really, really happy. Now they're not getting enough rations. They're not happy, but it will, it will go back up. It will go back up. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to end the episode there. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.